this weekend post, unscripted, uncut, start to finish processing. It's a live edit. Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to In Post. Today is a live edit, live in air quotes. And uh, what this is, if you haven't seen one of these before, I'm taking a photo from my library. I've done no processing work on it whatsoever. We start recording and I take it from start to finish and bring it as far as I can. Uh, this may end up being a good photo. It may not end up being a good photo. I'll make mistakes along the way, wrong turns, all that kind of stuff will happen. Uh, but that's all right, and uh, folks seem to enjoy this. It's kind of like uh, if you're sitting here in the studio with me looking over my shoulder, and maybe you can take a guess or two as to what you would do with the, with the photo in the next step, and then see what I do, and we have differences. Actually, that'd be pretty cool for comments on this video. If I got to a certain point, because I, I haven't started yet, think about what you were going to do next and uh, share that in the comments and we'll see um, you know where did we agree where did we disagree and then we can learn from each other that's kind of the whole point of these videos learning and getting better at our craft together so let's take a look here i've got this photo uh, i took uh, one morning while in jeju south korea and behind this cliff is uh it's called sunrise peak eventually i've got some footage i want to share from this particular shoot on in the field but for today we're just going to work through the photo so let's get it over into develop and we'll start with our fundamentals lens corrections are on the exposure is looking pretty good you know it's a little hot in the highlights but nothing's nothing's blown out if i hit the j key We've got nothing blown out. There was really nothing going on in the sky. It's going to be a reality of the morning. Those are the conditions we got. Uh, let's do our fundamentals here. I'm going to do a quick check for any dust spots. This was early in my trip, so my stuff was pretty clean, and this is looking good. So that's great. We may see some things show up as um, as I actually. Let's do this right now. Let's 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 look for them really hard. We'll take the dehaze and crank that up. And I can see some stuff up here. So we'll just take a few seconds and retouch those out of there. Sometimes that dehaze slider can help you find things that you wouldn't normally find, especially in highlight areas. And let's move over here. Hit the A key. What the A key is doing is it's turning on this little visualized spots at the bottom of the healing brush. Make sure I hit all of them. I think I did. Lightroom's just trying to keep up with me. Eventually Lightroom will get faster. I've heard that Adobe is making improvements. I am really looking forward to them. That would be a, a welcome, welcome improvement. All right, we'll zoom out of there, turn off a retouch, and let's return dehaze to its normal value. All right, then back up to the basics. So exposure-wise, this is gonna be okay. Um, I may actually decrease exposure a little tiny bit and then let's um, let's see whites are going to be pretty much right there already so we'll leave whites at nominal blacks we have our we have our pure blacks a few of those shadowy spots right under the, uh, the rocks there let's add on our contrast and then we'll open up shadows a bit rain in those highlights a whole lot okay so I want to be able to see that horizon and get an idea that there there's something of a uh, of a blue glow out there but it's okay if it's kind of blown out and I think we're gonna crop in from this edge here a little bit As a matter of fact let's go ahead and take care of that right now crop tool make sure our angles good this is looking like I did a pretty good job with the tripod in the field that seems a little off let me try auto Auto's a little better and we'll take this corner in um, I like this little curl here but I don't want to clip the top of this mountain. If anything, um, my framing in camera was pretty good. What I should have done is given myself a little bit of wiggle room for post-processing because this part's a little bit empty. Um, and you know what? Since this is going to be destined for a screen, we're just going to unlock that, that aspect ratio and pull it in and just do it that way. Um, and that'll be okay. Let's, uh, let's balance that edge. So I'm kind of doing a, a look on this, this edge of this, uh, this left edge here to make sure I don't cut a rock in a strange place or things like that. That's already better. Um, now, the beach could use a little bit of cleanup. There's, you know, a, a couple of things like these 
things that are green, that's probably a piece of plastic or trash or something that, that doesn't really belong in nature. But I will not spend too much time on that because I'm not sure if the end photo is going to be worth the digital beach cleanup. I'm going to see how other things go here. So um, also this, uh, this little railing that's out here, this area is used... Um, for uh for for diving and uh, there's some cool demonstrations they do there as well but uh it's not conducive to a, a pretty photo so what i am going to do is drop a gradient and we're going to reduce the exposure of just the top half of the photo we're going to boost that contrast more and that clarity more those cliffs need to come out there we go that's looking way better and even a little bit extra warmth just a touch because that was what really caught my eye. Um, let's see, what else are we going to do here? Overall clarity for the scene, I didn't do that. Let's, let's touch that a little bit. That's really for the, the foreground. And that's going to look pretty good. Um, now, since we have such a blown out sky, as much as I like that green and that color, I want to see what this looks like in black and white. So I'm going to hit the V key. And it looks not so great it looks very dark um, there's not enough separation let me hit the V again here there's green and orange here this unfortunately is not blue it's really black or picking up green so there's less separation at this sweep here so if I want to do some serious black and white with this I'm bringing this into another tool where I can do some uh, some stronger masking than Lightroom has to offer so we're gonna leave this as color and you know, honestly, at this stage, I think the last thing I'm going to do is just a uh, a little bit of um, clarity brushing in the greens, a little bit on this rock face, and then add a vignette. So we'll get the vignette up there. That's too dark. Back that up a little bit. And you know what? I'm going to call that about as far as I'm going to take this particular photo. Yeah, so if this were a stronger photo, I'd probably go farther. And I, I did, I'm curious about the black and white look for it. I have some others from this shoot that were uh, earlier before the sun had really washed out the sky, although the foreground and the cliffs were a little darker. So that was, you know, the, the trade-off. Why did I pick this one to work on them versus others? It was those cliffs. Uh, as tip of the week, hmm, uh, that's a tough one here. I guess um, perhaps it's cropping. You don't have to be married to an aspect ratio when you're cropping. You know, I first was keeping it original and uh, the original uh, aspect ratio, and it just wasn't working. It was too much dead space on that left side. So abandon that, pull it in. Unless you're going to be doing some printing with it, um, you feel free to change the aspect ratio to whatever makes the strongest composition for your photo. That'll do it for this week's In Post. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, please let me know somehow. Social shares are always appreciated. Plus ones, comments, likes, whatever system you're using, there's some little button there that you can click that lets me know you got some value out of this. Well, until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting. We start go from... I'm speaking backwards.